today we're going to be looking at a doorbell camera. How cool is that? I've been wanting to get one of these for a long time, and lo and behold, one got sent to me in the mail. This is by a company called Heimvision, and this is their HM B1 doorbell camera. This is F with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's go back in time and unbox this and see if it's any good. Let's unbox our Heimvision HMB1 Smart Video Doorbell. I will say, based on packaging alone, this thing is pretty sweet. And this is nicely done. All right, so first I have, what is this? This must be my directions. All right, so there's a direction manual and a free gift. I'll look at that in just a second. All right, so here is our video doorbell itself. It's about an inch, inch and a half thick, about six inches tall. So that's your doorbell. We have an interior door chime. Oh, look, it even came with batteries. You never see that. And then this box over here, what could this be? All right. All right, so this looks like all the hardware. So it looks like I have a charging cord. I've got some wires, screwdrivers, reset pins. Looks like some 3M stick or stickers to uh, stick to the wall. I got some screws. So I got everything I probably need here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to read through these directions and then we are gonna set this up together and then of course test it out. This part is pretty cool. So remember the wires I told you about in the accessory bag? Well, this could either be powered, so if you could, if you have your um, house already hardwired for a doorbell, you can have this powered so it's charging all the time or you can take it apart or take it off and charge it and there is the micro USB. We're gonna do that in just a second. But first, and I love when companies send a screwdriver with the item so I don't have to go fish around my house. Oh look, it's even magnetic. How cool is that? So first things first, I wanna make sure my batteries are in correctly. That's sometimes an issue with um, devices that the batteries weren't in right or whatnot. So let's just make sure we look at that. Also, there's this plastic thing that we have to take out. All right, so positives on top, negatives on the bottom. That looks correct. Yep, so I'll put that back in. Oh, I heard a beep. I wonder what that meant. So let's put, we're going to put this cover back on and then we're going to charge it. Okay. Because the directions tell us that we're actually going to charge between 10 and 12 hours before we use it. So I'm just going to put one of these screwdriver screws back in just to hold the case. So it does come with a USB plug right here. This is, I just said, I just plugged it into the wall over here. And so what I'll do is I'll plug it in. So I'm told it's red when it's charging and blue when it's done charging. All right, that's kind of cool. So what we'll do is we'll let this charge for a little while and then we'll set up the whole system. If you do not opt for the cloud storage, the cloud support to store your video, you can put an SD card in here. They say it supports up to 128 gigabytes. It is not included, so you have to actually purchase that extra, but it would go in this spot right here under the battery. So we are going to do step-by-step -step directions on setting up our Heimvision Smart Video Doorbell to our phone. So what I have here is on the first page, I have an iOS QR code and an Android QR code. So I'm opening up my camera. It automatically detects, so I hit, yep, that's where I want to go. And it brings me up to now the app store and I want to install this app. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Once this comes back and installs, I'll bring you back to do the rest. All right, so once it's installed, we're just gonna hit open. It only takes a few minutes. You want it to be able to look at your camera um, because you have to scan some QR codes and there it pops up the app. So you can put your account information in here. Um, I'm gonna do mine right now, but if you have never done one, you're gonna sign up and it's real simple to walk through, but I'm just gonna enter mine and I'll be right back. Once you're logged in, you're gonna see this thing that says um, 
I'll let my screen go tap to add. So we're going to hit that. And I'm actually going to add a doorbell, right? That's what this is because they also have um, cameras. So if I click, so now it tells me to turn the device on. Okay. So all you do to turn the device on is hit the button. We're going to hit next. So we already hit the bell. So we're going to hit next now. So that's where this pin comes in handy. Here's your reset button. Let's push it in there for five seconds. You hear that? Ooh -hoo. And we're done. So now we hit next. And yes, we already want to have access to the camera. Uh, we can allow that one using this app. Okay, I got to turn my GPS on real quick. All right, we agree. Okay, we're done. Um, this is the internet that I'm connected to. It happens to be Jeff reviews for you. I'm going to input my password and just for the point of this, I've just made it easy. Whoops. I just made it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And no, that is not my normal password. All right. So hit next. All right. Take So now what's going to happen is I just took that off here. I'm going to hit next. and There's going to be a QR code that pops up on my phone. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera to take a picture of that QR code. So let's do that now. And it looks like my, I got it because it went hoo hoo. And so now I hit next and now they're connecting. So what I'll do is when this finishes this process, I'll bring it back to show you what happened. Can I look at, oh, let's hit play what happens. So it's syncing to me. There I am. Tips. There I am. Pretty cool. All right. So now we're going to go test it out. So. Tell me, what do you think about these video doorbells? Do you have one? Is this something we need? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about these items. All right, let me show you something really cool. Let's hit the app. We're going to open it up. I'm going to click on my device, which is the doorbell. Let me bring this down because I'm going to center this in. But look, you can see right outside my front porch and look how clear it is. You can see the flag blowing. You can see the fern blowing. It's a really good quality camera. Now, I will say, look at the battery consumption. I watch the live footage all the time, right? And so I charged this over a week ago, and I still have a full battery. So if you're running off of battery, you're going to use it for a long time. Now, remember, there is the option where you can hardwire this in, but I'm just doing battery. Pretty cool. Look what else I have in here. I can hit the intercom button and talk if someone's out there, and I can hear them. I could record what's going on. I could take a screenshot. I can even set my motion sensor um, so I can set it really high so it records everything or really low so it only detects humans. I also, if I have an SD card, I could look at my history or if I have a cloud account, I could look at my history that way too. Pretty neat feature. Now I'm gonna show you what happens when you ring the doorbell. Let's just push it, it beeped. And now my phone starts beeping. And so I have three options, hang up, answer, or send a preset message. I won't answer it because it'll have a lot of feedback between the, the camera and the phone, but it's pretty cool. Let's just hang up on it. And there you go. All right, so now that our device is set up and it works and we tested it and it's awesome, let's pair this doorbell to the internal chime because if your phone or whatever app that you're using is not in the house if someone hits the button you're not going to hear it unless you have the chime so let's pair the chime right now i have put in the batteries that came with it but you can also use the usb cord if you're going to use it plugged in so the directions tell us to push this button that's right here see that push it once and it tells us that this red light's going to light up just like that and start blinking and now what we're supposed to do is push the doorbell button. 
and we heard the ding dong and now they've connected and there you go so now every time you ring this doorbell this will go off if you don't like the tune that came with it you can hit this button here it's got a little note symbol and it changes the different tunes You also have a sound button if you want to make it louder or quieter. In this video, I've been looking at a video doorbell by Heimvision, and this thing is pretty sweet. So I'm a pretty techie guy. I love technology. From the unboxing through the directions, this was easy to use, user-friendly, plus the quality was awesome. So I intentionally set this up using a MiFi or the hotspot for my phone because I wanted to see how this reacted to poor internet, right? Not necessarily your high speed that you might get at your house, but just off of a cell phone, how will this react? And it did a great job. I could stream in high def, I could stream in um, standard definition. It was really good. Plus I love that I could leave it live and I could be watching out my front door anytime I wanted. If you're interested in this product, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of this video doorbell from Heimvision. It's a pretty sweet product. I should mention it also does have a night vision feature where when it's dark out, you're able to record and communicate with people. It is in black and white. It's very similar to typical night vision things where they're outside. Um, I will say the person has to be relatively close for you to see them. And I often leave my light on my porch on, so it definitely helps the camera out. I just wanted you to know that. So when I was doing this video, I was outside on the front porch, I looked down and I saw that little piece of screen that I mended. I don't know if you saw that review, but I used a product called Screen Mend. It's been months since I put that on and it is still holding up strong. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review video right here and I would love it if you would check it out. Make sure you're plugged into YouTube so you can see this pop up right here and by the magic of the internet, I'll join you at this video. Go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.